Hi guys, today I just wanted to show you a little preview of my next project. This is the 130mm uh, frame that I just bought from Banggood. Uh, it's the frame with the um, uh, surroundings around the propellers, so it's able to fly in, uh, in tight spaces and or indoors, which is nice here in uh, my country where it's a lot of winter and a lot of time to spend inside the house. So this is 130 millimeters. Just wanted to show you. Looks uh, looks really good, actually. Tight plastic. Yeah. Here it is. Very nice. It's uh, carbon fiber. Yes, it is. And uh, it's the uh, bottom plate and the top plate. It'll be like this. The spaces are. Um, I think they are 35 millimeters. I will do some measurements for you later, but uh, this is just a quick preview. So it's very simple construction. It's uh, spaces all the way, and in the in the center we will have the um, power distribution board, the ESCs, and the uh, flight controller. For this project, I'm going to use. Uh, um, Diatone uh, power distribution board with the LED control. Um, I'm going to use uh, this array star 4 in 1 ESCs. Very nice. I actually haven't opened it yet, but uh, let's do that now. Have the standoffs, nylon standoffs, that's very good. Here is the ESC, yes. Four in one, very nice, very small. I've heard a lot about this one and these ones, and they are actually seems to be a very good quality. And as you can see, It's uh, directly in the holes of the center here. So this is, uh, I think uh, you can have this in 110 millimeters and 113, 30, I mean. Uh, I like this size because th this will make it possible to have the, no problem with the mounts in the, in the middle here and the propellers will not touch the components uh, like they will uh, if you don't take very special uh, precautions if you build the 110 millimeter. So this is uh, nice. There's also the other cable. If you just, uh, if you don't use this one, just uh, plug this one into the flight controller, which I will do. Um, propellers are the um, three three by three, the three by three by three uh, bull nose propellers. They should be very nice. And DYS and the motors. It's Emax RS thirteen oh six four thousand kV. This uh, should be uh, very good motors. I haven't tried them uh, myself before. I have also ordered the RS uh, 2205S for my next build, so that will be very interesting. Actually, I've opened this one before, and it's uh, it's really nice. It's really small, but uh, it has a lot of power for uh, for for this model. So as you can see, it's very small, but uh, it fits uh, very nice here and we'll make a good uh, power system for this, uh, this quadcopter.
propellers of course fits directly and I also have uh, in here it has uh, the lock nuts three lock nuts I like lock nuts but uh, even I bought this as a set of four so there are four clockwise no, two uh, clockwise and two counterclockwise motors so it will be no problem this for this falling off but uh, it's an extra security to have the lock nuts very very nice looking forward to to building this so that's the motors um, for the radio FPV system I have uh, uh, standard components I have just ordered the new camera uh, I've decided to upgrade on this this is on uh, this is a standard uh, cheap uh, camera 170 degrees uh, field of view very small uh, probably will fit just nice uh, in this frame but as I have found out there's no problem in, in having a bigger camera and uh, I would like to have the uh, a Runcam uh, Eagle or something like that in here so uh, uh, I will have to go come back to that uh, in a while but for now that's uh, good enough transmitter 5.8 gigahertz transmitter mini transmitter this is like uh, standard in the market so this was like uh, cheap and uh, very reliable and good so uh, that should be no problem also it has the GoPro connection which is nice if you want to connect it directly to a GoPro you can do that I'm not gonna do that so I have to desolder this but uh, it's in the kit so that's nice um, finally the uh, antenna this is for my shuriken uh, I have the Aomway <coughs> Cloverleafs left hand and uh, yeah very nice it can be bent and uh, it's flexible but it can uh, hold its position uh, when you have bent it so this is a very nice antenna I have uh, learned to like them very much stable good connection and I'm using them on, them on all my 5.8 gigahertz models so that will uh, be nice so we're uh, looking forward to show you these guys uh, the builds will start to, today and uh, I haven't got the flight controller, it's a NACE32 uh, full version and uh, yeah the batteries I will show you in a later video. Thanks for watching.